Yo, 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 everyone. It is Sunday, June 18th, 2023. The time is uh, 1131 New York local time. And in this video, I'm going to review the I, uh, ICT Silver setups for the Asian session, which is a setup that uh, I added on to the three normal times. I'm going to review the uh, trades that I took during the ICT Silver setup and then talk about the products that I'm going to be looking for for the ICT London Silver Bullet setups which are going to come in a few hours. Uh, if you like the video please make sure to like, comment, subscribe for the algorithm and go sign up for Apex, uh, Apex Trader Funding using my affiliate link in the description box below or for Top Step Trader Funding and my refer a friend link is in the link below. And so with that um, Let's talk about the first trade that I took of the day, and that's going to be on copper. So copper uh, was trading down coming into the Asian time frame. So for my Asian silver bullet setup, I use uh, 2000 New York local time to 2100 New York local time. I'm looking for an inefficiency that formed during or prior to the setup time, and then I'm targeting liquidity on a higher time frame. So coming in, I'm going to hide the executions for a second. We saw that right at that opening price, so right on the Tokyo Open, price formed this buy side inefficiency, and so I went short on that. And as you can see, I immediately went into profit, and I could have taken the trade off here, to be honest with you, but I let it come back and it ran against me, so it ended up running quite a bit against me, actually. And what price was doing at this point was coming in and, and filling our new week opening gap that we had here on the left. We had some inefficiencies up here. At that point, so on copper, I was aiming for this liquidity down lower, and it might still go down there, but as we're coming up on New York midnight, I know that the price is going to slow down, and we're coming into an order block here, so I'm just going to wait for the um, London the London uh, silver, uh, silver setup to, to appear. I also took uh, a sell on silver that went into drawdown and then into profit. Again, with both of these things, I, I definitely could have taken the immediate profit, but oftentimes what you're going to find with these silver bullet setups is that it's going to want to come go in your favor and then retrace back and then go and make the final move. Now, I might have gotten out of these trades a little bit early, but they were both profitable, so I'm not, I'm not upset about it. Um, again, we're coming up on New York midnight, and I don't want to be holding the trade. Uh, into the into the midnight resettlement. Um, now let's talk about any pairs that I'm looking for going into the uh, London silver bullet time, which is going to be from 0300 to 0400 New York local time. I'm looking at natural gas. Uh, natural gas still uh, it had another big move this time to the downside here. Um, I really had no opportunity to get in on the Asian silver bullet to to catch this movement downwards. Arguably here there was an inef a buy side inefficiency and then it just kind of pipped into it. I didn't I didn't catch it. It is possible that you could have um, caught this movement down. I you know I'll be honest with you I did not. I got it on copper. So I'm going to be looking at natural gas coming into our London uh, London time. I'm going to be looking at the same trade that I just took, which is going to be on copper. And again, I might have gotten out of this trade early. That's fine. Um, I don't like the fact that we're again. I don't like the fact that we're coming up on New York midnight, which is a resettlement period, and I'll just wait until uh, until the London silver bullet, and you know we could end up get drawing down much lower on copper. So I'm just going to be watching for that. Um, I'm also going to be looking at the Australian dollar. So Australian dollar took a tumble and is taking a tumble coming into New York midnight. So I'm going to be following the Australian dollar. Potentially to draw down, uh, draw down into these lows uh, down here. So Australian dollar looks like it wants to take a tumble. Um, crude oil, same thing. I think the crude oil could end up drawing down to this low and potentially uh, all the way down here. Now I'm not going to call for that just yet, but I am thinking that crude oil wants to come down to that 70 spot 22 uh, potentially during the London session. So I'm watching crude oil. And that's about it. Um, copper, crude oil, Australian dollar futures, and 
Uh, let's see. Maybe Canadian dollar futures. So copper, we're watching copper for more downside movement. We're watching crude oil for more downside movement. We're watching natural gas for more to potentially come and take out this low at two spot five nine three on natural gas. Um, there was a little bit of downside movement here on the NASDAQ, but I, I didn't get a part of that. So that was it, folks. Just to recap, um, I was short on our Asian silver bullet setup for copper futures. I held it into drawdown and then held it ultimately to a profit. And then I was also short silver that I shorted, held drawdown, and then uh, covered here. Uh, didn't make a big profit on the silver one. Definitely did better on the copper. So that's going to be it, folks. If you enjoy the video, please uh, boost this channel in the algorithm by liking, commenting, and subscribing. I am trying to build a secondary income from YouTube, so I'd really appreciate it if, uh, if you did that. And if you plan on trading a funded account, please make sure to use my affiliate link, which is linked below for Apex or Top Step Trader funding. And that's going to be it for this one. I will probably be back with you uh, if I trade through London. Might get some sleep before then. And that's going to be it. Bye-bye.